Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. Coming up to you, you with the only infallible, the only uncompromising, the only unadulterated <laughs> written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. We thank all you for viewing. Get your Bible, get your Bible, and turn to 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. Follow us in Scripture. 1 Corinthians 2 and 4. 1 Corinthians 2 and 4. And thank all you for viewing. All you on, on uh, Facebook, all you on YouTube. Thank all you for viewing. I mean, 1 Corinthians 2 and 4. 1 Corinthians 2 and 4. Read with us. This is Apostle Paul. He said, in my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the power of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of God, in the wisdom of men, in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. That was 1 Corinthians 2, 4, and 5. Now, go to Galatians 1. Galatians 1. 1 and 11. Galatians 1, 11. But I certify, my God, what you got, what you preach, got to be certified. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. I'm not preaching what man say. And you already know. What people saying about me, you already know that that is not after man. <laughs> Hallelujah. For I, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. All God's servants have the same testimony. Did no man give you the gospel to preach? No man gave you the gospel to preach. No man. You didn't receive it by man. You were taught it by man. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's how you was taught it. You, you real preachers out there, men and women, that's how you was taught it by the revelation of Jesus Christ. You can't teach nothing you don't know. Jesus revealed him. Matter of fact, it was Jesus that sent you to preach. How can they hear without a preacher? How can they hear they preach except they be sent? Jesus sent you to preach. Not seminary. Not bishop. Not pastor. Not apostle. Not presiding bishop. Jesus sent you to preach. You weren't taught it by man. See what this is taught. This ain't man. This is not man here. This is not man here. Man T contrary to this. Watch this. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past. You know my past life. Mm hmm. In the Jew religion, how there be young men I persecuted, church of God and wasted it. You know my past, but you know me now. <laughs> now, go back to 1 Corinthians. 
two and four, two and five, that your faith, faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but the power of God. All right. Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To the two verses also agree. For here it is the right that God revealed. Yeah, let's get that. Romans 1, 16. Romans 1, 16. Read with us. Read with us. <laughs> they say, no, the wisdom with me and we read here now. Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God and salvation to everyone that believe it, to the two first and also the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. From faith to faith, and it is written, the just shall live by faith. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember the vision that Bethlehem had? The just shall live by his faith, the just shall live by faith. This is it, the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's it. Watch it. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness and men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. The wrath of God is against you. Now, let's go back. I want to read those scriptures. Let's start. we back in Corinthians 2 now. Back up to the first chapter and the 29th verse. You know, wisdom of men entice the word of man, wisdom draw you to the man. It don't draw you to Christ, it draw you to the man. It don't draw you to Christ, it draw you to the man. Men tout about my education. My, the university I came from, the seminary I went to. I got an earned doctorate. I didn't get my doctorate off the computer. I didn't pay you with $89 or whatever. I got an earned, I went to school 10 years or so to get an earned doctorate. That's flesh. That's man glory. That's man glory. That's man glory. They ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. That's man glory. Ain't that right? Come on, come on. Follow us, follow us. For Corinthians chapter 1, watch this. 29, that no flesh and glory in his sight. No, no flesh glory. Some people get so full of themselves. They say, I'm the only one that got the truth. Ain't nobody else got the truth but me. That man glory. That man glory. You say you the only one got the truth, that's man's glory. Good morning to you all. That man glory, I'm the only one got the truth. That man glory. Cause you know me. You say you the only one got the truth? <laughs> now what truth is that? That man glory. That no flesh of glory. Your dumb dog, hell bound, theo, theological, doctor divinity, seminary, DD, PhD, GTH. You say, what GTA going to hell? Deal degree, that's man glory. That ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. That's man glory. That's separate from Jesus. I ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. I'm kind of freezing up. Now, verse 30. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, and sanctification and redemption. What is sanctification? What man wisdom say sanctification is? What do man wisdom 
Say Chinese case with. I'm, yeah, I'm going to mess you up. Yeah, I'm going to mess you up. Man wisdom said, sanctification is set apart for the master's youth. Set apart for God's youth. All it means you set apart. Yeah. That man wisdom. Uh-oh. That man wisdom. Sanctification is you, yes, you are set up. You free from sin. You free from sin. That's sanctification. You free from sin. Jesus freed you and cleared you from your sin. That's sanctification. I know what well, sanctification is. It's like the ongoing work of the spirit in the believer. I understand that, but let's show you what sanctification is. Stay in Corinthians and go to the sixth chapter. Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicate, our daughter, or daughter, nor effeminate, nor abuse of same with mankind, nor thief, nor covenant, nor drunkard, nor reviler, nor extortioner, shall inherit the kingdom of God, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified. Sanctified and clear from sin. Sanctified and free from sin. Washed in the blood of Jesus from your sin. That's sanctified. You're still walking and living in sin. You have not repented. You ain't sanctified. You ain't got the name. You ain't wear the name sanctified. Some of you all not let Bishop Mason's name come out of y'all mouth. Y'all don't see y'all don't stand for no holiness. That's another subject. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Whew. You all not, you all not let Jesus' name come out of your mouth. Why, why are you saying Jesus? Why? You all not let Jesus' name come out of your mouth. What I want, what I want. Do I want Timothy two and nineteen? Second Timothy two nineteen. You all not even call the name Jesus. 2 Timothy 2 19. Oh. This is not man which we give you. 2 Timothy 2 19. <clears throat> Never to let the foundation of God stand in sure having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are here. Let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You're still here in iniquity. You're committing sin. You have not repented. You will not stop. Don't let, don't let, don't let Jesus' name come out of your mouth. Don't, don't even utter that name. Don't even sing about it. Don't even sing. Don't sing about it. Don't let his name come out of your mouth. It said, let him that name and name of Christ depart from iniquity. You know man wisdom. Man wisdom don't tell you that. Man wisdom tell you. Ain't nobody without sin. Ain't nobody without sin. Yo, no man, wisdom tell you. Come on, come on, come on. Back to 1 Corinthians. I'm moving quick. 1 and 30. Righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. How many redeem? Say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. <clears throat> How many redeem? You, you redeemed? You sure? You live in sin? Commit sin? Have not, have not repented of your sin? You're not redeemed. You're still in your sin? You're not redeemed. You're not redeemed. You're not. You have not came to you, called you to wash your sin away, believe and trust him to do it, make it right. You're not redeemed. Oh, we ain't talking man wisdom now. The priest say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. All, all the sinners start, yeah, I'm redeemed. Liar. Oh, let's show this. This ain't man wisdom we talking here now. <clears throat> Go 
to Titus 2, 14. We ain't giving you man wisdom, we giving you the wisdom of God. We ain't giving you the types of words of man wisdom. Man wisdom don't tell you nothing like that. Titus 2. What did I say? Two fourteen. <sighs> Ty, all right. That. Whew. Here it is. Yeah, tie two fourteen. See, did, <laughs> know that know that God. N Know that what we read now, your pastor don't say it. No, is that he don't say he'll tell you this. Ty 214. You say you redeemed. Who had himself, talking about Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity? You redeemed? You still ain't sin. You still got sin. You say ain't nobody without sin. You sure ain't redeemed. Christ redeemed us from all iniquity. Redeemed us from it. Cleanse away all the iniquity. Christ do that. Your pastor don't say that. Man wisdom don't say that. Man wisdom say, well, ain't nobody without sin. We all got sin. It's a failing hour until Sunday. He said, like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody sent this, and he holding the position. Ain't nobody sent this. I challenged him. I said, bro, when Jesus cleansed you from your sin, do you still have sin when Jesus cleansed you? He said, no, not, not right at that time. Not right at that time. Okay. So how say you it? Ain't nobody without sin. Jesus have cleansed some of us from sin. Some of us are walking in the newness of life. Some of us are living holy. Without blame. I'm getting up there. I'm going to the Father. Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1. We don't preach man with man with don't say none of this. <laughs> Ephesians one. One and seven. In redemption now, you say you're redeemed. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to his riches and grace. The forgiveness of sin. Back up the fold. According as he had told us in here before the foundation of the word that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Man with no tell nothing like that. My speech, our speech, the true people of God's speech is not with the types of word of man wisdom. Galatians 1, and we're gonna Galatians 1. We ain't giving you man wisdom. Man don't give you this. Man pre-contrary to the word of God. It was a man said a few weeks ago. Ain't no hell, hell or fairy tale. That's man wisdom. Galatians 1. I need to show you this. Well, we did, we, we, okay, we did that. We did that one. Now, go 
back to Corinthians 2, 2 and 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellence of speech or wisdom. I didn't come to you myself. I didn't come to you preaching myself. I'm all this. Excuse me. Declaring, watch it here, what I'm doing, declaring unto you the testimony of God. That was what I came to give you. And I determined not to know anything among you. I don't know nothing. I ain't nothing. My degree don't mean nothing. I don't know nothing. There's one thing I know. What did what it say? Save Jesus Christ and him crucified. That's what I know. What happened when he was crucified? Jesus said, this is a cup of the blood of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remission of sin. All right, go to Revelation 1. Christ crucified. You said, I believe Christ was crucified. You steal in your sin. You got to do more than believe that. Revelation 1 and 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and of the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sin in his own blood. That was a purpose of the crucifixion to take your sin away, to wash your sin away. It is a hint for we shall not serve sin. That's Romans 6. Hint for we shall not serve sin. Why are you still serving sin? Why are you still committing sin? Watch it. Back over to Corinthians. Now, here is the power. For say my speech and my preaching will not be tight word of man, with, but a demonstration of the spirit and the power. Here is the power. No, this ain't talking about working real. Here's the power. Back up to verse 3. Here's the power. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. Where all that come from? He being persecuted. One time he was stoned and left for dead. One time they had to let him out on window. At nighttime, called the Jews looking to kill him. One time he was whooped with, with 39 strikes, beat, put in jail, all kind of stuff. But he continued to preach the word. That's the power in the, and the demonstration. Come on. But the demonstration of the spirit and the power that your face should not stand in the will of men, but the power of God. Look at all they did to me. Look at all the persecution. Look, the stoning and the beating and the jailing and all this stuff. And being destituted. Fast and often. Hunger. Look at all that happened to me. And I'm still preaching. That's the power. That's the power this talk about. You still preaching. Remember the book of Acts when they threatened them, don't preach nor teach no more in that name? And they went back to their own company. And they prayed, Lord, give them boldness. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. They went out and spake the word boldly. The power. Continue to preach. You don't have that power because you took down because your pastor said don't preach this in the church. You took down because you wanted to be popular. You took down because you wanted a mega church. A mega ministry. You took down because you wanted to be in full time false prophet ministry. You took down because you wanted to be popular. You took down to go on TBN and word they word. You took down. You will not preach the truth. Jesus said, pre repentance every mission of sin. Repent don't come out of your mouth. You took down. You don't have the power. You preach a man with. Come on. 
how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yeah, there are perfect. Man wouldn't say nobody perfect. That man wisdom. I never thought I'd live to see a day where people call Jesus a lie. People call Jesus Christ a lie. Jesus said be perfect and they call Jesus a lie. And say nobody perfect. That man wisdom. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of the world. We ain't speak the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of the world say ain't nobody perfect. Nor the princes of the world that come to know. We ain't speak we ain't speak what the king tells us to preach in the seminary and the scholars and so somebody missed me about uh, Josephus. Say Josephus said, I said, who was Josephus? Well, he was a historian and he never said nothing that could trade to the word of God. Well, I went and looked up Josephus. He did. Josephus was a liar. Mm -hmm. That come to naught. Everything coming down but the word of God. Everything. One verse say, they say, let these men alone. If it's not of God, it'll come to naught. And they reference another fellow who both himself to be some. And his work came to naught. But they say, if it's not of God, it's nothing you can do to stop it. It ain't nothing you can do. You can't stop it. Persecute, criticize, ostracize, it ain't nothing you can do. Turn folks against it. You can't stop it. Hallelujah. We speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. What's the mystery? The gospel. I said, even the hidden wisdom of God had, had, had been ordained before the world to our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. Had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, as it is written, I have not seen, it, and I have not heard, neither at the end of the heart of the man. The, the thing with God have a power for them that love him, but God had revealed them to us by his spirit, for the spirit such as all things, yea, the deep things of God. I have not seen, it has not heard, they're referring to the gospel of Jesus Christ. They ain't referring to no stuff, no material stuff. They're referring to the gospel of Jesus Christ, the mystery, the gospel of Jesus Christ. is not a mystery no more. Watch it. For what, for what man knoweth the things of man say the spirit of man which is in him? He was so the things of God know no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the word but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us. Of God. What's those things? What is that? They're freely given to you. The gospel. Salvation. Free from sin. Freely. Which thing we speak? We speak these things. Not in words with man wisdom teaching, but by the Holy Ghost teaching comparing spiritual with spiritual. But the natural man, man receive not the things of the spirit. That man don't receive it. Oh, he understands, but he don't receive it. It foolish is unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. For he that his spirit judges all that yet he himself is judged no man. Who had known the mind of Christ, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. Can't nobody instruct God. Nobody instruct God. Nobody instruct Christ. Nobody. <clears throat> then he goes to speak about carnal. And one wants to think of himself more high than he are. And one wants to say, I'm appalling. I'm appalling. The wisdom of the world. Our speech is not with the type of word of man with him. But this, 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 man wisdom do not teach this. People that say, well, well, the Bible wrong. Ain't no man going to write nothing that's against what he's doing. Ain't no man going to write nothing that's against what he's doing. This is against what anybody do that's wrong. 
Paul pick it up and say, but though, if though we are an angel, if an angel come down from here, preach it to God, but let him be a curse. Let me be a curse. Let the angel be a curse. Hallelujah. That's enough of that. Your pastor, your preacher, your bishop, preach with enticing words of man wisdom because they teach contrary to this. They teach against this. You don't believe in physical healing, that man with him. You don't believe in music in the church, that man with him. Hmm? You believe you got to keep the law. You said you don't pay tithes at all, you're going to hell. That's man's wisdom, not this. You say you don't give first fruit off, you're going to hell. That's man wisdom. You say, you say obey the pastor. That man with him. You obey this. You obey this. And a God-fearing pastor is going to tell you to obey this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man with him. Jesus is coming back again. That's why we preach the truth so you'll be saved. Men don't know because they've been taught man with him. That's why God raised up preachers to go and give them the truth. Your sin got, you got to be sick. Ain't no sin going to heaven. You got to repent of your sin. Man don't tell you to repent. Man tell you repeat the sinner's prayer. It's that believe he died and rose again. That man wisdom. That's not it. That repent. Jesus even said in St. John 3. Everyone that do it evil hate the light. That commit sin. You hate the light. See, you say it. Man, women don't say that. <laughs> you understand. That's enough. God bless you. I pray. Thank you for viewing. Turn off YouTube.